reason why I think I'm fit for this is I'm a natural born badass. There ain't nothing I'm naked about, there's nothing I'm afraid about. Mother Nature is just an invitation. I know when I go where I'm heading that I'll be there. I admit I don't have no military background. I wasn't a Navy SEAL, but I've studied Dog the Bounty Hunter, Rambo, and Tom Hanks. I've seen all their movies. I'm prepared for this. I ain't afraid of nothing either, because I trained at Discount Karate. My hands for years were registered downtown as lethal weapons. I couldn't so much give the finger because it was considered a threat. And Discount Karate went out of business, and Dairy Queen bought them out, but I didn't give up. I helped them merge and become Taekwondo DQ. I don't know what I'm allowed to bring on this adventure, but I know there's two things I'm packing regardless. This is a steady. Trojan Magnum XL. Check out that Wonka bar. I mean, my partner might be fire ass hot and I want to be prepared. I swear to God, I've always got one in the chamber. Plus, if we go swimming, even if I don't wear it, it could be a flotation device. And I wish they made a bigger one. You know, this comes halfway down on me. It looks like I'm wearing Spanx. And I always travel with the coat hanger. You think about it. Oh, it's just a coat hanger? No, it ain't. I could snap it in two and have my own nunchucks. I can use it as a bow and arrow. It's got metal and wood. Those are two minerals that you can always make something out of. I swear to God, this is all you need. Full metal jacket. You know, and here's the other thing about this naked and afraid, which annoys me. I want the director and the producers to know I ain't wearing them blurs. And my partner better not be coming to bed wearing them blurs. And I ain't gonna Velcro my pork, and I ain't gonna Velcro my nipples. But if she comes to bed, them blurs are coming off, and I'll say it right to her face. It's supposed to be naked and afraid. I mean, surviving is nothing but basically making sure your food is harmed. All food was meant to be harmed. I mean, everything I eat, I beat the hell out of. That's all sloppy Joe's are, is hamburgers that got their ass beat. And being near a body of water is simple. I was raised four miles near a pay lake. I used to let girls go noodling in my pants. I swear to God I did. So catfish, guess what? They're just waiting to be had. And it ain't hard. You look for the dorsal fin. I've had catfish so fat that they had feet on them. You know, they're bottom feeders. And so I can make sure that I find catfish any day of the week. Plus, you attract them, you pee in the lake, creates a urine slick. And they also like hitting on tender beetles. You don't even need earthworms. I gotta go.